Hey there, and welcome back to Arlen Plays Mega Man X, Episode 5, Spark Mandrill. Last time we took down a woolly mammoth made into a robot, this time we're going to go after a baboon. So let's take a look at it in detail. Height 10 feet tall. This one was what, 10 and a half? Yeah, it was, so still one of the bigger robots out there. Electric Spark Dash Punch. You know, it occurs to me, I don't actually know, let's see, the map helps, let's see. Ah, okay, yeah, so, so he was in the refinery there, whereas Spark Mandrill is, I'm guessing that's the power plant, although there's not really anything to let me know about that, but, eh, no matter. Let's get going, shall we? to think that when I was a kid, I never realized what a mandrill was. I just thought it was something strange. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Oh, this is the remains of the ship. Okay, so so definitely having another effect from another stage. It looks like the ship crashes here after you leave. Which I'm betting breaks the power lines? That's right, I think so, because I think that the things below me normally have electricity running through them. Okay. Is that Okay, that seems to be time-based. Although it seems to trigger based on where I am, but it seems to be time-based as to when it lets up. Interesting. That definitely does make this more interesting, because otherwise this would just be a travel through some tunnels, and it would be rather uneventful. Well, again, this... <laughs> Having gone through Storm Eagle stage before this really makes this a lot easier. Speaking of previous stages, though, let's test out this new power once I take a look around. So far, it seems like each of these stages is set up in some place that has some kind of strategic advantage. I haven't quite figured out all of them, but... I don't know. Okay, so it is a true friend. Wait a minute. You're telling me that... Oh god, in order to charge it up, you have to sit there using it the whole time? I mean, I suppose it can't really be helped given the way the power was set up, but it's still really obnoxious. At least with the other ones, you can sit there and, you know, hold it and it's not going to go off and use up more, but... Oh, that is really annoying. Still, I, su I wonder if I can actually get around it by doing this. Let's see. Charge up, and then switch over. The answer is yes. Okay, so the workaround is there. I can uh, at least work with that. Oh, good. The uh, the enemies from the from when we did Chill Penguin are still around. That's good. So it's good to reuse something. You went through all the trouble to make it, program it, then you're just gonna leave it. This boys and girls is what's known as creative reuse of assets. Generally speaking, a good thing to do. Does anybody know what those things darting by are? Like, I realize they're, they're pulling some kind of crescent shape, but I don't know what they're supposed to be. Usually you can tell, or at least tell what they're based on. What the? Oh. Okay. Mini boss? Alright. Haven't had one of these since the intro level. Okay, why do I get the feeling that he's supposed to be a lot more impressive than he is? Maybe that little blast thing is supposed to be a lightning bolt? Yeah, that's my best guess. Right, you know what? Screw you. Okay, yeah, that definitely is more effective. Or at least it seems to be. Yep, there we go. Take that, Cohesion. You cannot stand up to my mighty weapon. Thanks for crashing a ship into your base, at least. Okay, so those are some kind of vehicle. Okay, now that's a nice touch. It definitely gives you the impression of their damage without giving them a health bar or something equally obvious. It's, it's subtle, I like that. Let's see. You know what, I'm going to keep using this, because this is a great power for just general purposes just because it does so much damage to them. Okay, needed that. I 
Alright. It's funny, because when I was a kid, I never used to use the powers except for the bosses. This is a lot easier. What the heck? It drops little bombs. Okay. Or, or I suppose launches them. I don't know why you'd bother having the little parachutes other than maybe giving the player a chance to move out of the way. So from that perspective, I, I guess I can see that, but it still seems kind of odd. Because, I mean, it would be a heck of a lot more effective if they just launched straight over and you'd have to move out of the way quite a bit faster that way. <sighs> Alright, so that thing's back. Alright. Walkers. God, those elves are annoying. Gotcha that time. I'd be willing to bet that they show up in specific places. Ah, and look at that. We've reached the boss. Alright, charging up to the manly pink glow. Onward and inward. So, central time. Aw, he has Christmas lights. Okay, so this one dodged out of the way, too. Okay, that's a nice touch. I like the fact that it actually affects him more than just damage. That's, that's pretty nice. And I know that there are other bosses that are like that, but... That's a, that definitely... I really appreciate it. It gives you a much better sense that he's uh, weak against that. Okay, how do I actually use this? Ah, okay. Why? And last one. Oh, hmm. I didn't really analyze his stuff at all. Of course, to be fair, it looked like he just did the dash stuff, climbed up a bit sometimes, and would have the sparks that run around the room. Still obviously more of a threat than most. I mean, I took quite a bit more damage on that one, and I was stopping him every so often. So, I I'd rate him in the same category as Storm Eagle. I think he was pretty well thought out. So, now we have a nice shade of peach to add to our collection. And there we are. That, my friends, is the end of Episode 5. If you at all liked what you saw, please click like and highly consider subscribing. I have a video coming out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So please leave me some feedback and give me some suggestions. If you'd like to see me play a game, let me know in the comments. I'll take a look. So next time on Arlen Plays. Armored Armadillo. Hope to see you there.